liked it. What's up, motherfuckers? Hey, man, look. Like, share, subscribe, comment, all that good shit. Do all that shit. I'm gonna drop a quick video right quick, man, because I just wanna let y'all know that no good deed goes unpunished. I'm gonna say it again. No good deed goes unpunished. And, and, and look, and here's what I mean. I'm gonna explain something to you and break it down right quick. Okay. I'm gonna own the op. Another cat at the company, he is a company driver. Other cat at the company, he's a company driver. All right. So, you know, we all kind of like come in around about the same time or whatever. You dig what I'm saying? But this dude, he comes in, clock in, leave. Go to get something. He said he went to parties, whatever. But the other dude said that he went home. And the dude followed him and the Cuban dude. Don't ask me why a motherfucker follow a motherfucker. I don't know. But the dude followed him and the Cuban dude. He said the Cuban dude went to Thorns. The other black dude, he went home. All right. So he came to me yesterday and he told me. He was like, hey, man. You know, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, yeah. He said, man, that motherfucker don't, don't be doing shit, man. You know, whoop de whoop, whoop de whoop. All right, cool. So I see little buddy yesterday. I said, hey, man, you might want to watch your back, man. Because little buddy follow you. I gave him the name. I said, little buddy follow you, man. He follow you and the Cuban dude, man. Oh, man, I'm going to say something to him. What? Why are you going to say something to him? It's a free country. He could follow whoever the fuck he want to follow. Whenever the fuck he want to motherfucker follow him. I know it seemed like some private eye investigative shit. But he could follow whoever the fuck he want to follow. Okay? You wouldn't even know if I didn't goddamn tell you. Because he was following you and you didn't know. Because if you did, you would have told somebody and it would have got back. Okay? So, I tell him. I'm like, hey man, just watch yourself. Because motherfuckers is watching. And then, here's the whole thing. The motherfucker, he just got fired last week or maybe the week before last, but they brought him back, right? So now you go and confront this dude about this. What are you accomplishing with this? Well, I just got to get it off my chest. I just got to let motherfucker know. But what are you accomplishing? Does that make you feel good? You didn't got your dick and your panties all in the motherfucker wide now because the dude done follow you and caught you doing some shit, man. Why the fuck are you getting mad because you were somewhere you didn't have no goddamn business being? How the fuck can you get mad because the motherfucker catch you doing some shit you ain't got no business doing? See, that's how fucked up motherfuckers is in the head, man. That is how fucked up motherfuckers is in the head. You mad because you were doing wrong and you got caught. That, that shit don't even make no goddamn sense to me, man. But anyway, I told his cousin, I said, man, I will never feed that motherfucker no information again. He can never get shit out of me. He didn't even ask for this, but I just figured I'm gonna look out for you and throw you a bone just so you can keep your friends close and keep your enemies close right up under your nose. Because see, here's the thing. Before I switched to the owner operator, little buddy told on me, but I didn't give a fuck because I know how to handle snakes and deal with snakes. You, you dig what I'm saying? I know how to handle snakes and deal with snakes. My other little partner told me, he said, hey, man, a man, a little African dude, he said, hey, man, you know, blah, 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 what's the name told on you? I don't, I don't give a fuck. I never said nothing. He told me this shit six, seven months ago. I ain't, he don't even know that I know. I've never said any goddamn thing to him about it or nothing because it doesn't bother me, man. You dig what I'm saying? I just know how to treat you and I just know how to deal with you now. You gotta learn how to deal with people, man. And that's what I told little buddy. You need to get the book Verbal Judo and read that shit, man. Because what are you, look now, you just got fired like a week or two ago. Now what if he go back and tell Brian and Brian fire your ass again? If you didn't need a job, you wouldn't be here working. You wouldn't be here working. So the fact that you got up out your fucking bed and you came here to work is showing us expeditiously that you need a motherfucking job. So what if he go back and flip the script? Because once I seen the motherfucker doing it, I was just like, man, I'm gone. I'm gone. He's a motherfucking dickhead. I'm gone. You dig what I'm saying? And just like I told his cousin, I don't give a fuck if I hear that they're getting ready to fire his ass again. I would never fucking tell him. You know, because you would want to, I would want somebody to tell me. 
because I might not come in that day. I'll stay the fuck at home and try to get a jump on, get some shit accomplished and, and shit. Then I'll come in and let them do their due diligence, fire my ass or whatever, you know, whoop the whoop. But, but man, this motherfucker, boy, I ain't lying to you, man. This motherfucker, man, woo, dog. It's just so crazy because how the fuck can you get mad at somebody because you were doing wrong? Mentality. Your mentality will keep you from elevating and doing what you're supposed to do. The motherfucker sorry as fuck anyway. A couple of people here want to whoop his ass. Man, if they jump that motherfucker start whooping his ass, I'll step on him like this. Mm. And keep on going. Look. Mm. And keep on going. I'll step on the motherfucker just like that and keep on motherfucker going, man. I'm serious because my whole thing is, what the fuck were you trying to accomplish? Does that make you feel good just to tell them? But in hindsight, here's what can happen. When you flip that coin and look at the other side, here's what can happen. He could get his pistol the next time and shoot your ass and say, it's a stand my ground. I was standing my ground. He threatening me. You dig what I'm saying? It's your word against his word. Or the next time he could go and tell, he can go and call the owner that's up in Chicago. He can go over the assistant general manager, the general manager, and go straight to the goddamn owner and get your ass motherfucker fired. Because the owner already want you gone anyway because he feel like you're stealing money. And the general manager already wants you gone because he just fucking fired you. But we kind of stood up for you, you know, because the company drivers feed the owner operators all of our freight to run and run and run and run and run and run and run and, run and shit. So, you know what I'm saying? I said, man, you know, he's okay some of the time. You know, everybody slack off, blah, 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 which everybody don't slack off as much as he do and shit, man. But it's just one of them things, man. I'm not going to try to get nobody motherfucking can because everybody need their job, especially in today's climate. Everybody need their goddamn job, man. But how the fuck you going to get mad at somebody because your ass went the fuck where you were supposed to be and somebody see? I'm going to tell you, I'm going to let you in on a little secret, man. This is a little secret. My mama used to always tell me, she said, hey, just because everybody always see you doing something, just because they don't tell you that they seen you doesn't mean that they did not see you. And I'm going to give you a little short story. My homeboy girlfriend was cheating on me. He brought a 2015 Cadillac truck straight off the motherfucking, straight off the goddamn showroom floor. The bitch had 8,000, uh, not 8,000, had eight motherfucking miles on it. She take the car over to the dude how she was cheating with, and why did the motherfucker burn up in the goddamn driveway? Some electrical, some shit happened, the car burnt up in the fucking driveway. It always tell on you, man. It always tell on you, dude. If you somewhere you ain't got no business doing, it tell on you. It would tell on you, man. So how can you get mad at somebody because you didn't do what the fuck you were supposed to do? That's the stupidest fucking shit ever. We having another stupid mo oh, look, we having another stupid moment. In another stupid minute right now you know what i'm saying but i ain't gonna hold y'all up today man i just want to let y'all know no good deed goes unpunished no good deed goes unpunished man and the fleas come with the dog you can't try to help everybody you can't try to save everybody some of them motherfuckers you got to do this kick their ass on out there in the motherfucking water and let whatever happen to them happen to them you do know what i'm saying you just gotta kick their get get the fuck on man you know what i'm saying but now i can't i can't tell you nothing if they tell me that they're getting ready to can you, guess what? I'm going to be like, mm. I'm going to be like this. Mm. Mm. And keep on going. Mm. No, for real. That's how I'm going to be, man. I hear them calling. Pundit. I'm out this bitch, man. Later.